So earlier this morning, I talked about a lawsuit that was brought against Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump back in 2016. The lawsuit was brought by a 13-year-old girl who accused them of actually assaulting her and using her as an ex-slave. The lawsuit was filed. It was talked about briefly out on social media, and then it just died. I saw nothing else about the lawsuit. The reason why it's coming up again is because Jeffrey Epstein, there were recent files dropped, documents dropped in regards to the Jeffrey Epstein case. And so people were confusing that lawsuit with this case. So now there's attention on this lawsuit that was filed back in 2016. The young girl is, he's using a, a pseudonym. She's not using her real name. And the pseudonym that she's using is Katie Johnson. If I'm remembering cor correctly, y'all, it's been a long day. I'm tired. Um, but in the lawsuit that she filed, she went by Jane Doe. And a lot of you are asking, who was the judge on the case? And you guys are asking that because the judge dismissed the case. Dismissed the case from what I interpreted. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an attorney or anything like that. I'm guessing it was dismissed because she didn't have enough evidence, even though we know that Jeffrey Epstein has been charged has been arrested, served some time for doing the very thing that she accused Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump of doing. Unfortunately, I don't know what the judge's name, but here are the documents. You can get the documents by going to my Beacons link. A lot of people are down in the comments underneath this um, video basically saying that um, Katie Johnson did an interview and it's available over on the other platform with the red play button. I haven't seen it, but maybe you guys can go over there. I don't know who the judge is because the judge is not named in these documents. Do you find that suspicious? I find that suspicious. In every section where it says judge, there's nothing entered in that section. I don't know who the judge is, but you can read the documents. If you have the stomach for it, you can read the documents. It's in my beacons link. Go to the important reads tab. And on that note, I'm done for today.